Hi there, Chris Fox here. Uh, it's only about 105 degrees here, and I'm uh, inside the tool car at the TMC, or car I'm using as a tool car. And uh, Edmondson is over there. And we're going to replace the glass in this window. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys how you take the uh, the glass out or the unit that's in it out and place it with a new unit okay so let's get going with that all right once you've got your uh, safety gloves on and uh, taking all of the safety precautions that you need uh, this is the one this window here is a section window that was broken in Orangeville after two days of it being in service so I have actually taken this one apart. I've got a lot of the screws out already. But what we're going to do is show you how this comes apart. Okay, so you can see I've taken all the screws out on the inside of the window except for four. And since I've already taken it apart, I've taken the rubber seal out that goes from the window to the frame in here and that's the rubber seal over there and on installation I'll show you how it goes on the new unit uh, just to expedite the video I've already taken bits of it apart so what you're going to do is when you take a Pullman standard window out like you've seen in a previous video you pull it out and when, if you want to replace the glass you have to take all these screws out all the way around and being that being said, if they use stainless, you're lucky. If they use steel and it's an aluminum frame, uh, yeah, you're going to have a bit of trouble. So you may resort to drilling out the, um, the screws, but be careful when you do so you don't wreck the uh, underlying... Um, the underlying frame because the two frames go together in here and you can see here that's how it comes apart so I'll put you down I'll take the screws out and then I'll show you how the top frame comes off all right so I've taken the last four screws out and in the section windows there are 44 I counted them 44 screws that you have to remove so once you've done that you can actually just lift up the frame and it pulls away from and what you have is you have spacers here that are in place and then that's the bottom frame so don't get your spacers mixed up you're gonna have they're like a, a rub another rubber but a plastic or bakelite style um, spacer and it just sits in there you have one on either side and down the bottom you have two on either side of the cam lock okay so we'll take these out now. and then what you usually have is you have this unit that's in here and around the unit you have that rubber so since i've already had it apart because it came apart so easy and yeah this is going to take a little bit once you get into a real one but um, anyways so you lift the unit up and pull it out of the way taking note what side goes out and what side goes in take this and put this over here now the rubber which is here is a channel rubber and you can get the rubber if yours is done and uh, sun pinched and foobarred out. You can get these at a rubber extruding company any, pretty much anywhere. You just There should be a label on the side of the rubber somewhere that tells you the, the type, but you can take a measurement of it as well or take a piece into the, the place and they can actually order it and get it for you because I got this out of a standard rubber place here uh, in Newmarket, Ontario actually. But anyways, so this would sit around the window like that. OK, 
okay? So then when you pull that off, you put that around the new window. And what it does is it takes up the space between the frame and the glass. So what we're gonna do now is take the new glass and we're gonna put the rubber around the outside of the new unit. Okay. So more in a bit. As this is the original rubber that's in the car. Um, you can see it has a channel right in the middle of it for the glass. So you have on this side, you'd have your outside glass or your uh, tempered glass. And on this side, you would have your uh, laminated glass. So the projectile wouldn't come right into the car. And then in between, uh, it, it's, just, uh, uh, it, it's just all the way around like that. And you can see here, you'd have the outside or the inside and the outside glass right here and then where this meets on the top is where the cam lock uh, piece would sit from the frame and actually what that is is it's an adjuster which allows you to crank this as the rubber shrinks you can take a screwdriver and pull it back together um, without taking the glass apart out of the out of the window Okay, so like I said before, we're going to install the rubber on this and you want to install the rubber on the top. So, and the way I do it is I usually soak with Windex, I usually soak the window and then I put the rubber around like so and with Windex on it it goes on easy without Windex it could be sticky so you want to just roll it in nice and easy and another thing if you're gonna reuse the rubber um, make sure you clean it and I mean clean it really good. Pull it apart and have it all apart so that you can actually get any extra glass if there is anything, any crap or foreign material that's inside out because you don't want, when you start putting pressure on this after it's inside the frame, you don't want it to crack the glass. And that would be bad because then you're doing the whole thing all over again, plus you gotta buy new glass. Like with the windows, you put this in, you work your way around it. And you pull it so that it meets up in the middle here. Without too much of a seam. Okay, if you want, you can put a piece of tape across there to hold it in place so everything is good, and then we'll put it in the frame. All right, let me go get some tape and I'll do what I preach. All right, so we've done the rubber. And now what we'll do is we'll take the glass and put it in the frame. And I'm going to put you back down after and show you that. Hopefully it's not too far away. And then uh, we can, I can show you how that's going to go. And again, I am going to have the, the mark on the glass, which is right here. I'm going to face it so you can read it from the outside of the car and uh, yeah so you're looking at the inside of the window right now the I'm sorry that's the outside of the window 
So that you are looking at is the outside. The bottom of that is the inside. So I have to flip the glass, which is there, I have to flip it over. Okay, all right, I'll put you back down here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the glass in the frame now. So, this being the outside and the bottom being the inside, you take the glass and basically you just set it in the frame. Nice and gentle like. And then you shimmy it around a bit so that you can get it so that it sits good. I'm going to again, I'm going to again use Windex to help coax it into place. not going in I wouldn't be you could use a flat screwdriver and just kind of help it along but again if you put too much pressure on it you're gonna be into buying new glass Now what we can do is we can take our pieces here and these are basically uh, spacers and you can put the spacers in, line them up with the holes that are already in the frame. Again, clean them off, wipe them off, and set them in place. Now we can grab the outside frame and you can tell it's the outside frame because you'll be able to see the rubber that sits against the, uh, you see the rubber mark that sits against the, the outside frame of the window um, from the car. And again, if you are using the rubber over again, you already have a groove that the glass sits in, or that the frame sits in, this uh, aluminum frame it sits in. Okay, and that's all 44 screws in place. So, uh, there's your window back in. We'll just give it a bit of a, uh, a clean up and install it. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching.